Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop from HeavenlyBackyardAstronomy.com. I'm out here in the Heavenly Backyard Garden. You know, it's been about almost six years since I retired from television broadcasting. I did that for 38 years, but one of the first things I bought for myself as a retirement gift was this Celestron 11-inch telescope, and I've been using it ever since, and it's been giving me some fantastic results. However, it's a little bit on the dirty side, on the outside and on the inside. It's easy to clean the outside portion of the telescope, but what about the inside? Yeah, I'm going to take an attempt to clean the corrector plate, the inside portion of the corrector plate. And hopefully everything goes just fine. We'll see at the end of the video just how well this uh, situation worked, if I did it correctly or if I botched it up entirely. Who knows? Stick around to the end. But welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. So the first thing I want to do is to take off the secondary mirror. I don't want to take any chances of uh, smudging that or even when I take the corrector plate off to have this bright sunlight reflect back into my eyes. That would be de detrimental to me. So I'm just going to take it off, removing the mounting clamp. Then I have a Hyperstar, and I'm using the protective container uh, that comes with the Hyperstar to put the secondary mirror into that. So I'm just going to lift it out, and then lift it in right here. It's protected and I'll put the clamp on here to seal it so it's protected now while I do the rest of the operation which is scaring me to death to tell you the truth nonetheless I gotta take off this mounting plate right here and there are I think six screws one two three four five six seven eight so there's eight screws, not six screws that I have to remove. So let's do that. Okay. That's the last screw. Now I'm going to take off the plate, but there's two notches on the um, cover right here for the lens cap to secure the lens cap. So I have to kind of like work my way around that, maybe bend it a little bit. There you go. And it comes right out. There you go. All right, we're going to put this aside right here. One of the things I failed to show you and what to do, you can, we'll see if we can get away with it uh, after I fire this uh, telescope up tonight when it, uh, uh, I can uh, collimate it on a star. But a lot of people, when they take off the, uh, the plate holder, they put a little piece of painter's tape on the edges here uh, one place and then another place and then cut it with a razor blade that gives you a guarantee mark that the corrector plate is put back exactly where it was when it came out but I, 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 I'm pretty sure I have it right exactly where it should be so we'll see though when I uh, turn the telescope on a little bit later on tonight now a lot of dirt in here so, you know, first of all let's uh, See if we can get some of this out of here. Okay. And the last thing we want to do is be rubbing sand on the lens. Now, let's see if it will come out. It might not. It does. Okay. There is the corrector plate. Let's see if I can. Again, you want to be careful not to really touch anything. This is the outside. This is the inside. There's some something there. I can use the towel again on that because I'm not going to touch the glass. Let's just make sure this is all clean. Looks clean. Okay. Now, let's get this inside corrector plate clean. Look at it. It's got a lot of dirt on it. 
uh, on the edges particularly. Then there's these splotches on the inside. I, I don't know if that if a bug got in there at one time or if that's a fungus or what, but we're going to get rid of that. So the first thing I want to do is take my smooth cleaning cloth. There are all different kinds of cloths you can use. Actually, I think it's okay to spray the whole thing in this, in this example here. I'm just going to dab, make sure there's no particles on there. I don't want to put any scratches on it. As I say, dab, dab, dab. That's what I'm doing now. I'm dab, dab, dabbing. Dab, 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 dab. Get that screwdriver away from the lens. Dab, 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 dab. Of course, the last thing I want to do right now is <laughs> drop it. Don't want to do that. All right, I'm going to put some more liquid on here. There's a, I'm going to use another cloth. That one's about done. There's a spot right here I want to get rid of. It's been annoying me for years. Okay, the lens is fairly clean. Here's the uh, final product here. Looks pretty good to me, I hope. Anyway, now to put it back together. The mark is right here. I'm gonna move this table on. Well, I don't wanna move it too much. I don't wanna drop the screws. Okay. Goes in right. Mark. Where the mark go? Okay. Right there. There we go. Okay. I'm going to tilt this back up a little bit. Tell you what. I'm going to hold on to it here. There we go. I want gravity as my friend, not my enemy. Okay, this goes with the Celestron down. Gotta get it in here. Line up the screws here. Get it over that, there we go. Okay, that goes there. Celestron's down. We'll put a screw in there. They don't give you much room for your fingers here. I thought six screws would have been enough, but they used eight. Let's see. This side right here. There's a little fly flying on my eye right now. There it goes. It fits in snug, it should, should be fine. We'll need to see if it needs to be collimated after we get this thing all set up. All right. Well, if everything goes as planned, I should have some very clean images. Well, I'm gonna to have to wait until later on tonight. The sky is, uh, well, the sun is still up. Uh, at least the sky is clear. That's something we haven't had for a long time around here. Uh, I'll hopefully be able to give a test later on this evening and I'll post those at the end uh, of this video. So, but you know, thanks for watching. And remember, the universe is just filled with majestic glories, all in a sky near you, unless you need rain. Clear skies, everyone.